You might be thinking now, wow, I'm definitely not going to be able to remember all of this. But they are usually sold together as sets. So it's actually not that difficult to obtain. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. If you have ever considered studying or working in Japan, you might know about the Hanko personal seal culture. You need to have different types of personal seals for renting a house, opening a bank account, and even receiving a package that comes to your door. In other words, we use seals instead of writing signatures, like most people would do around the world. Can you guess how many stamps a Japanese man like me who runs a company would own? Two? Three? No. Eight. Why would you need so many different kinds of stamps? So today, I'll explain to you about the history of Hanko culture in Japan, why we still use such a troublesome system even today, and seven different kinds of Hanko seals. Also, at the end of the video, I will introduce how to make your own hanko, even if you don't have a Japanese name. I hope this video will be useful for those who are hoping to live in Japan in the future. So, let's go to the next Then, let's start by talking about the history of hanko seals in Japan. By breaking it down into three points, as always. One, seal culture was introduced from China. Two, seal culture spread among the upper class. Three, the Meiji government created the stamp culture today. One, seal culture was introduced from China. The origin of the seal is said to be originated. In an area called Mesopotamia around 7000 BC. From there, the culture moved to Rome via Egypt and Greece and eventually spread throughout Europe along with Christianity. When the culture moved to China through the Silk Road, the emperor created the culture of seals as a privilege and a way to show their power. The first stamp came to Japan as a gift from China. During its Eastern Han Dynasty about 2,300 years ago. It is this golden stamp that still exists today as a national treasure, displayed in the Fukuoka City Museum. Two, seal culture spread among the upper class. The samurai inherited the seal culture from China as a privilege that only the upper class were allowed to use. The samurai used their originally designed seals to prove papers like petitions and wills since the Heian period about 1000 years ago. And it became especially popular during the Kamakura and Muromachi periods. 3. The Meiji government created the stamp culture today. The seal culture finally became something common among everyone in Japan due to the Meiji government. In 1873. In order to follow the new westernized central social system, the government needed to gather information from every citizen and make them submit paperwork. However, there were many people who couldn't write letters, so the government allowed people to use registered stamps as a way to prove their identity. This is when the seal has become widespread among the general public. Which is how it is today. So, compared to the long history of the seal itself, it's actually quite recent that they have become something used daily by Japanese people. But, Shogo, can't everyone write their own names now? Why are you guys still using personal seals? Japan, of course, has compulsory education that lasts for nine years, and everyone can read and write. However, the stamp culture is so deeply rooted in our administrative and social system that we are having a hard time quitting it. For example, like I've explained in this video, the seals and paper culture are one of the things that are outdated about the Japanese business world. Even during this corona crisis, 
There are some people who have to go to their companies just to stamp and submit certain documents. This is extremely inefficient. But for example, the usage of electronic seals, where you can easily make and send official documents online, was still less than 50% in 2019. The problem is, even if one company thought they wanted to end the stamp system, their clients would all need to agree with that in order to start using the electric seal system. Also, all the papers that are submitted to the administration, for example, must be done by papers and seals. The average age of Japan is 48.4 years old, and 28.7% of the population is older than 65 years old. Sadly, many people don't even know how to use a computer nor own a smartphone, which makes it impossible to digitize everything all of a sudden. We all need to change everything at once to end this outdated system. But so far, no one knows for sure how long it's going to take. Then next, let me talk about the different types of seals that we use in Japan. Every Japanese person will need three kinds of seals, and company owners will need four more. Individuals, jitsuin, officially registered seal, kinkoin, bank seal, mitomein, unregistered seal. Companies, jitsuin, officially registered seal, kinkoin, bank seal, kakuin, square seal, yakushokuin, job title seal. The officially registered seal is a seal that has been accepted after applying for registration at the municipal office where you are registered as a resident. A company's officially registered seal, on the other hand, must be registered at the Legal Affairs Bureau where the head office is located. The registered seal is the most important seal for both individuals and companies and is accompanied by legal social rights and obligations. It is used for creating loan certificates, contracts, real estate transactions, automobile registration, etc. From a crime prevention point of view, it is best to engrave both your last and first name for the individual ones, and to have both the company name and job title of the president for the companies. Next, a bank seal is an important seal, used for opening a deposit and savings account at a financial institution, and sometimes for depositing and withdrawing large amounts of money. A company would own its own bank account, so that's why it must be separated from the individual ones. The unregistered seal and square seal have different names and do not look alike but their purposes are basically the same. They are used for document creation that does not require a seal certificate and for general office work. While the unregistered seal used by individuals usually only has your last name engraved, the square seals have more information about the company, so they are bigger and have higher credit. Lastly, the job title seal used only by companies are seals with job titles, such as representative director or branch manager. It can be used in various situations for in-house documents. You might be thinking now, wow, I'm definitely not going to be able to remember all of this. But they are usually sold together as sets. And the unregistered seals can be bought at a regular miscellaneous goods shop. So it's actually not that difficult to obtain. The difficult part is try not to lose them. Then finally, let's talk about how you can make your own stamp. It's actually very simple. You just have to jump online and order one at the stamp shop. Stamp shop. You just have to jump online and order one through the stamp shops. Yes, they will make the Japanese hanko seals with your name in alphabetic characters or katakana. So again, you just have to buy the stamp set with everything you need. And it's as simple as that. The only thing you might want to keep in mind is what the material of the hanko stamps could be. 
One, horns and fangs. Two, wood. Three, metal, resin. The black hanko seals using black buffalo horns are the most basic kind, which are popular thanks to their excellent durability. If you have this kind, you will surely be okay for anywhere to use. But I understand that some of you may be against using animal materials. In that case, wood is a good choice too. There are many, many kinds, but my recommendation is the Ono Ore Kamba tree, which literally means that it's hard enough to break axes. Because it's so strong and doesn't break, it is often used for gifts for marriage or starting school and work to wish for good luck. Lastly, if you're willing to buy the most expensive and best kind of hanko seal, metal ones, especially made from titanium, are going to be your best choice. They of course have excellent durability, but also very easy to handle and even washable unlike the other two kinds. I think you would look really cool if you took out your titanium seals when stamping. Then lastly, today's conclusion. The culture of seals first came from China about 2,300 years ago. From the Heian period, it became popular for the people of the upper class like the aristocrats and samurai to use originally designed seals in order to prove papers like petitions and wills. Hanko seals finally became something common for everyone in Japan after 1873 when the westernized Meiji government allowed people to use registered seals as a way to prove their identity. Japan is having a difficult time quitting its troublesome hanko seal culture because it is so deeply rooted in the administrative system and the elderly cannot accept sudden change. Every Japanese will need three kinds of stamps and company owners will need four more. Individuals, jitsuin, officially registered seal, the most important seal with legal rights. Ginkoi, bank seal, used for opening bank accounts and depositing and withdrawing money. Mitomein, unregistered seal, used for general paperwork that doesn't require a seal certificate. Companies, Jitsuin, officially registered seal. Ginkoi, bank seal. Kakuin, square seal. Yakushokuin, job title seal used for in-house documents. You can simply check out the online Hanko seal shops to create your own seals with your name in alphabetic characters or katakana. There are different types of material to make them, and they each have different meanings and prices, so I hope you can enjoy choosing the one that you like. So that's it for today, thank you very much for watching. If you thought, Wow, I knew Japan uses stamps, but I really didn't know that they had so many different kinds. Please hit the like button to let me know. And my goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help is what I need. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. And please, check out our sub-channel and membership through the link inside the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.